Hey, Pastor Bob here for another That's Not My God video. So I'm not outside today, rather I'm just sitting at my kitchen table here at the house. And you know, the, the, the kitchen table is really a place where you do all your conversating. I know for us, we make it a point to have dinner at the table every night. And maybe that's easier because we have a four and a five year old. And as years go on, maybe that may be more difficult. But I'd like to believe that we will keep having dinner around the table. And this is where good conversation starts. Um, me being a pastor, we have multiple people over uh, quite often, and uh, so there's been a lot of people that have sat around this table, and a lot of laughs, a lot of tears, and just good conversation overall. But it really gets you thinking a little bit like, okay, so who do I fellowship with the most? Um, both inside your house and outside of your house, who do you fellowship with? Um, we started this new ministry here in town. It was inspired by what Pastor Bob Beeman's doing with the Bridge Bunch and we call ours The Rock and uh, it was so fun because this last uh, Sunday we did our first um, what we call feeding where we pull up with the van and have a warm meal and um, you know conversate with people, give them out needs that they need and um, it just happened that that night, the very first Sunday that we did it in this town of about 6,000 plus, uh, just a couple blocks away a meth lab uh, went up in flames and uh, it was the top floor of an apartment unit that the, the tenants and the other units didn't know about. And so while we were doing this feeding, there were some moms that were displaced now from that apartment because the cops had everyone get out and uh, like that. And um, they ended up finding us just a couple blocks down. I think we got them a warm meal, uh, clothes, and um, the, one mom took diapers for her kids. And some of the kids took some of the toys that we had. And uh, it, it was just a great, great thing, a great, great uh, service that we were able to do. But what was even more cool is that the very first time we did it, we pulled up to the site and there were people waiting for us. These were people that, you know, we see around town that we just, you know, you look at and you just, you know, you have your assumptions. But all of a sudden you can start putting names with these faces and for the next hour and a half we're hanging out having fellowship with them. And, you know, it was true love with no agenda. We just wanted to have conversation. and. Yeah, that really got me thinking about life in general. It, it, it's taken me a few days to process this whole thing, and tomorrow night we're going to be doing another feeding uh, with dinner as well. But it really got us thinking, and got me thinking at least. Like, okay, so who do I fellowship out with? Who do I fellowship with? There's nothing wrong with people that are in the same boat as me. You know, my, I'm married, have two toddlers and uh, preschoolers, and so that's kind of who I gravitate to these days. But as a whole, am I willing to, and do I want to hang out with these people? I really do. <laughs> I find so much uh, transparency, so much realness in them. Um, some of these people are rebuilding their lives. We had one young man who called us during the week and said, are you bringing hygiene products? We said yes, and he was just so excited because he's getting back on his feet again, but just simply couldn't afford these things. And uh, these are people I want to hang out with. These are people that... Um, when you do hang out with, you actually see Jesus in them. I guess the question is, who do you hang out with? Some of us in Christianity, myself included, can get kind of bored with it. And I think that's okay. I think that's normal because maybe we're just not doing anything new. Maybe we're not stretching ourselves. Maybe we're not doing something to make a difference. And if that's the case, let me encourage you to start thinking about those things. I have a friend down in Austin, Texas, Josh, he started a Facebook page after our visit down in Nashville and we started this uh, food ministry and that's really how, how these things are birthed. So let me challenge you, if, if you're feeling stagnant in your Christianity, if you're feeling bored, try something new. Maybe fellowship with somebody you normally wouldn't fellowship with. Even if they don't think like you, that should be a welcome thing so that you can have good conversation. Shoot me your thoughts, vtwinrev at that's not my God .com. Post them here on YouTube, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.